All right, today we're looking at the Samsung 2333 HD monitor. Now, this thing is really cool. They keep saying it's a monitor, it's a monitor, it's a monitor, but it also has a built-in ATSC tuner, so it'll do uh, digital over-the-air cable as well. It comes with a remote control because it's got a tuner, uh, so they basically should be calling it a TV as well. Uh, now, this is actually a 1920 by 1080p monitor. Just some incredible video uh, that you can play on here. Everything looks super sharp. I was looking at some HD content. I was looking at the Avatar trailer uh, from, uh, from QuickTime and it played so well, it looked so sharp. The contrast ratio is so high, 10,000 to one dynamic contrast ratio, which actually uh, turns into about 1,000 to one if you're doing the static way of measuring it. Uh, it has a 5ms response time, it has a 300 nit panel. This is an incredible, incredible monitor, and it's the perfect size, it's 23. Uh, really nice, 1920 by 1080p resolution, so it's gonna do your native Blu-rays and all that good stuff, no problem. Uh, and it looks really, really sharp. If you like the T240, the T260 HD, uh, all the Touch of Color series, monitors from Samsung, this is almost the same thing. It's just a little tiny bit different. If you'll notice down here at the bottom, it actually doesn't have any colors or that little clear panel. It's kind of got like this uh, silver chrome lining down here at the bottom. Let me see if I can tilt this up so you can see it. Very similar uh, in its appearance, but it is a little bit different. The stand doesn't have the swivel base, but uh, it also is a little bit more affordable, and it's the resolution people might want. If you're going to be watching a lot of 1920 by 1080p video or TV or movies, uh, it's going to play at the perfect resolution with just this. 1920 by 1080, that means you're not going to get any black boxes on the top or on the sides. Uh, if you're watching regular 1920 by 1080p video, it's got as much connectivity as you could possibly want, and I might as well just show it to you because it's pretty impressive. Check this out. Look at the back of this thing. It's loaded up. Now, right now I'm using my HDMI cable to hook it up to my little netbook over here to play some videos for you guys, but it's also got component in, so you want to throw some analog uh, inputs in there, you can as well. This is where your antenna is going to go in if you want to use the TV tuner that's built into it. Again, it's ATSC, so it's going to do your uh, pretty much your new digital cable, or I'm sorry, your new digital uh, antenna that you're using now after the switchover, it's what's going to take in. It's not going to take in your regular cable from home. That won't work. Keep that in mind. Right over here, it's got an SP diff. Uh, optical in, uh, so basically, or actually it's an optical out if you want to pretty much output uh, the audio that's coming in through your HDMI out back to your surround sound system, you can do that there. If you're using a DVI cable that has no audio and you want to bring in audio because it does have some built-in speakers, you could do it right here with this audio jack. Uh, it does have a VGA uh, and a DVI. Um, speaking about that audio jack, it actually does have uh, a couple speakers, or you should know. It does have a two, uh, two three-watt speakers that are built in and also now that I got back here, it reminded me, see these little holes right here? It is 100 millimeter uh, VESA compliant. So very uh, easy to put up on a wall. If you want to use a bracket uh, of some sort, uh, it's just going to fit on your wall. You can use a low profile bracket or you can put it on an articulating arm so you can move it. Uh, really easy. It also, uh, as far as movement goes, it does offer you uh, the ability to tilt. And although it does not really swivel, it basically does because it's on a, a nice little bra uh, bracket here. So it is. it, it does swivel, but it's not really... Uh, down here doesn't have anything. Uh, 0.26 five, five millimeter pixel pitch uh, on this, so very, very nice as far as that goes. Uh, it's got a 160 degree uh, viewing angle, and that's both uh, vertical and horizontal, so no matter how you're looking at it, 160 degrees is pretty much the range of viewing angle that you're going to have, uh, so that's also pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit weak as far as side viewing angle at 160 degrees, it should be maybe like 165, 170, but um, it's such a high quality monitor, it's got such a good pixel pitch, it's got such a bright panel, and of course it is 16 by 9 high resolution that it actually, in the end, it makes it just great, great monitor. At 23 inches, you're not going to be standing 10 feet away looking at it from the side, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to be used as a monitor, it's going to be in front of you, and for that, it's going to look incredibly sharp, and it does. Of course, at Samsung, they make some of the best monitors and panels out there, uh, and they've continued to do it with the 2333 HD. Very nice monitor, 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio, 300 nit panel, 1920 by 1080 p 23 inch, sweet, sweet stuff from Samsung. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Samsung 2333 HD monitor, type in S203-2374 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.